those of you that you know, hear us out in faithfulness, we say God is still doing yeah. Yeah. all the time. Exodus chapter 20 20 and chapter 7 20 and verse 7 Exodus 20 and 7 you don't have to turn to it one of the ten commandments matter of fact the third Moses writes and he says as God gave to him he says thou shalt not take the name of the Lord thou God in vain for the Lord will not hold him guiltless that taketh his name in vain. How right. far respect for God's name? Respect for God's name. Everybody know what copyright infringement is? That's when, when you have something that belongs to you and somebody else takes it and they try to use it. It's illegal in this country. And in most civilized world, it is illegal to do that. Amen. Uh, uh, most of us uh, watch the movie Coming to America with uh, Eddie Murphy, and, and that was a fellow in there named McDougal who had his arches. Yeah, it was an M, he said. Yeah, but they looked just like McDonald's golden arches. Amen. And McDonald was suing him because of copyright infringement. Amen. McDonald has the right to the golden arches. Amen. Can't nobody else put that up front. Amen. That, that's theirs. If you're not a part of them, you can't use it. Amen. I, I, I'm getting ahead of myself, but, but if you're not a part of the family of God, you can't use it. All right. Come on now, work it. Amen. Amen. One way for us uh, 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 to begin to understand this commandment uh, uh, that God tells us to treat his name with respect yeah. is understand that God has trademarked it. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. It belongs to him. All right. All right. Amen. Uh, uh, he has claimed it uh, 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 in order to gain widespread distribution of his copyright repair manual. That's the Bible. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, 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 and also to capture greater market value for his authorized franchise. Mm -hmm. That's the church. All right. All right. Amen. Amen. God has graciously licensed the use of his name to anyone who will use it according to his written instructions. Mm -hmm. Amen. 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 Don't you go out there and, 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 and use God's name in vain. Mm -hmm. That's what he said. Don't, don't use my name if I haven't authorized you to use it, if you're not a part of me. Why? Because all violation will be prosecuted. All right. All right. Yeah, that's what he said. It's right here in the text. He said, for the Lord will not hold him guiltless that take it, his name in vain. All right. All right. Yeah. And, and, and some of you might say, well, uh, uh, they have ways of getting around copyright infringement. Uh -huh. They can get good lawyers and, 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 and they can go to court and they can fight that and, 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 and they'll break the grip that you have on it. Well, that might be pretty good for stuff here. Okay? All right. But when, when, when God uh, hauled you into his court yeah, yeah. for copyright infringement, there are a couple of things you need to understand. Yeah, on Number one, the prosecutor, the judge, the jury, yeah. and the enforcer is God. 
to make it short, you lose. All right. Amen. God's name belongs to him. And to him only. And we need to be careful how we use it. Wow. Now we live in a day and time when not enough, not anyway, is attached to the folks' name, nor the importance of it. Uh, as a matter of fact, we name children anything now. <laughs> Amen. I was, I was looking at something, and I didn't even know how to try to start to pronounce this woman's name. Amen. We got a, a fellow that graduated from high school this year in, in, in Henry County. His brother graduated a couple of years before. His name is James. And I said, what's his name? His name's Samanche. And I said, what's that? He said, that's James Baptist. Amen. Uh -uh. We don't attach any value to name. Uh, uh, uh. We just look at it as an identification tag. That's curvy. And that's all that it means. All right. But in biblical times, doing uh, scripture, names meant something. Wow. Amen. Uh, 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 the angel said about Jesus, his name shall be called Jesus because he shall save his people from their sin. Right. Name meant something. God's name means something. Mm -hmm. It's who he is. Mm -hmm. It validates his existence. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It represents his character. Mm -hmm. It promotes his reputation. It communicates his dignity. Yeah. It declares his worth. Yeah. And it tells us who he really is. All right. All right. Amen. Amen. When, when, when Moses met God on the backside of the desert, and God gave him instructions on what he, on what God wanted him to do, and and, and Moses asked him, so who shall I tell them that you are that sent me? Who, who are you? And God said, I am. Mm -hmm. That I am. All right. Mm -hmm. Tell them that I am sent you. All right. Amen. The name meant something. Yeah. What you mean? I am. I am everything I want to be. And in our case, he's everything we need him to be. Because he is, I am, that I am. Or when you just stop and reflect on that, you ought to shout about that. And then whatever I need, God's got it. Why? Because he is what he is. Because he says, I am that I am. Yeah, mm -hmm. Today I want to caution you about uh, uh, losing respect for God's name. All right. Mm -hmm. How do we how do we misuse God's name? Well, we misuse God's name when we use it in profane ways. Well, All right. That's right. The story is told of a little girl that had not attended church, but she went one Sunday morning during the Christmas holiday, and she heard the Christmas story. The Sunday school teacher read the passage of scripture, and and and, and she read the part where it says, "And his name shall be called Jesus." little girl looked at her. The neighbor sat beside her and said, why would they give such a beautiful baby such a bad name? Because all the time she's heard the name Jesus was not in a good life. Why well, mm -hmm. use it to swear in the household? And in anger, they had used uh, 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 Jesus Christ, what's the, what's wrong with you? you know, and 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 she was hurt because she looked at the Christmas story and saw such a beautiful baby wow, wow. that had such a bad name. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. We profane his name yeah. so often that we don't even realize Amen. we're doing it. Mm. Amen. How many times have we said Jesus Christ is sparingly about mm. something for someone? Mm. Yeah. We profane his name. Mm. Amen. And when we do that, we misuse. We misuse God's name when we carelessly invoke his name. People use God's name when it has no real significance in their life. Wow. Uh, in truth, there is probably no country in the world where people use God's name as much as we do. Uh, 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 and it means so little to us. Uh, <laughs> I think about Brother Kirby's friend when he was president he finished his speech with God bless America. And then sometime I question whether he really believed in God. <laughs> Amen. Political candidates get on their stump and, 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 and they say all that they are going to do and they make these great speeches and then they say God bless America. Bless Tennessee. Bless this athletes when they have uh, uh, scored the final score in the ball game, whether it's football, baseball, basketball, whatever. Amen. They they get in front of the microphone and they say, first I want to thank God. <laughs> Amen. And if you don't get them soon enough, they already been drinking some alcohol and beverage. <laughs> Amen. But they gonna say, thank God. Uh, 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 uh. They want us to think that they did it because God was on their side. But I need to tell you that the devil gets some victories too. Yeah. And sometimes it ain't what God did for you, it's what the devil did to you. Amen. And when we give God a, a glory for what the devil did, you're misusing his name. All right. All right. Amen. Folks uh, put up huge billboards and churches <laughs> and, and talk about that, that, that God is with us uh, uh, in all kinds of things. Amen. But then they will not reach out to help people that are poor, sick, and needy. Wow. Everybody. Yeah. Everybody. I'm glad I don't have mine on today. You might look at me strange. But everybody want to wear a cross. Yeah. But few want to bear the cross. All right. Yeah. We profane God's name when we hang a cross on our neck. All right. Mm -hmm. And then do the exact opposite of what that cross stands for. Mm -hmm. Amen. Then we misuse God's name when we engage in meaningless worship. All right. Yeah. Folks come to church. Sometimes they just come because they were brought up in the church. Mm -hmm. All right. They don't care nothing about what's going on. They be asleep by the time the preacher stand up. <laughs> Amen. Uh, uh, if it wasn't for a doxology where there was some music played, mm -hmm. they would be asleep when everybody leaves. Yeah. Amen. <laughs> Meaningless worship profane God's name. All right. Isaiah 29 and 13 says, Wherefore the Lord said, for as much as this people draw near me with their mouth and with their lips do honor me, but have removed their hearts far from me. Mm -hmm. And their fear toward me. Mm -hmm. It's taught by the precepts of me. Mm -hmm. We come to church. We don't mean nothing. Sometimes we come just to say, I went to church on Sunday. Mm -hmm. I, 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 I can recall Dick and Bell when I was 
attending church in California years ago. He would tell a story about the fellow that would come in to work and talk about the pastor sure did preach something. Yeah. He said, what he preached about, I don't know, but he sure did preach. <laughs> we come, but we get nothing out of it because we bring nothing to put in. Mm -hmm. So it's meaningless. It does nothing for us. We walk out of here the same way we came in. All right. We're not changed by the preaching of the word of God. Let me hasten. Then we misuse God's name when we make false oath and promise. And that slapped me right in the face as I thought about that. Because as a grand jury foreman, I have to swear in every witness that comes to give testimony. And, and 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 I was I was kind of uh, kind of trying to figure out how I'm gonna do this. Amen. Uh, do I ask you to swear or do I ask you to affirm or uh, how do I do? I use the phrase "So help me God." You know, I'm 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 trying to figure this out. Amen. Because biblically, there are some things I'm not supposed to do. Jesus said it this way. Don't swear by God, heaven, earth, Jerusalem, by yourself. Don't do that. He says, just let your yea be yea, and let your nay be nay. But we profane God's name when we swear. Yeah. Little boy, I, 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 I can recall saying, I swear for God in heaven. I didn't know what I was saying. Amen. But I said it. And I didn't even have a good understanding of the God in heaven. All right, now. Amen. And a lot of folks that's grown up say it too. And they still do not have any indication about the God that is in heaven. When we make false oath and promises, and we don't have to go that far, we could talk about when we promised God we wouldn't do something else well, well, again. Well, well. Lord, if you ever get me out of this, anybody in the house? Yes, sir. Lord, I promise you I won't do it again. Two weeks later, it's not the next day. We're in the same thing. Amen. We misuse God's name when we make false promises and oaths to him. In essence, we lie to him. And we use, we hang his name on the lie. And I said earlier today that God is not a man that he should lie. It is impossible for God to lie. So why do we want to make him a part All right. of the lie we just told? We, we, we misuse his name. Yes, in that way. Then we misuse God's name when our profession does not match our lifestyle. Mm -hmm. When we are hypocrites. I mean, yeah, yeah. We want everybody to think that we are Christians, mm -hmm. that we are Holy Ghost filled and fire baptized. And, and all of that, and just watch us when we leave. <laughs> Before we get in the car and going home, we done curse somebody out. <laughs> and we done say something ugly about somebody in the church. <laughs> They're a part of the thing. Amen. We are so hypocritical. Yeah, yeah. And, 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 and when we act that way, we misuse the name of God because right. we claim to be his children. Yes, sir. Our father. Yeah. And 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 here the thing is, here the thing is. I don't care who your father is. Mm -hmm. You may not even know who he is. Mm -hmm. He may not would have raised you. But I guarantee you one thing, you have some of his characteristic traits. All right. Amen. Amen. 
Yeah, you do. Yeah. You might say, I ain't nothing like my dad. <laughs> you don't know your daddy. <laughs> so when you claim to be somebody's child and you don't act like him, you're being hypocritical. All right. We need to understand that when we claim to be sons and daughters yeah. of God, mm. and we don't act like him, uh -huh. then we misuse his name. Yes, sir. Then we misuse God's name when we don't give him our best. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, we look at the words of Malachi in chapter 1, 6 through 14, uh, 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 Israel was guilty of not giving God their best. All right. All right. They were giving God their leftovers. And, and what they didn't want, they passed it along to God. Mm -hmm. How many of us were guilty of giving God our leftovers? Mm -hmm. After I paid my house note, mm -hmm. <coughs> after I paid my car note, All right. after I bought me a new wardrobe, and after I've gone out and eaten in a nice restaurant, let's see what I got left that I can give God. Amen. I can't go to, to, to Bible study because I have other things pressing in my life. I don't have time for it. When we don't give God our best, we profane, we misuse his name. We claim to be something. That will not. All right. All right. We need to learn how to honor his name. Right. We need to learn how to give him mm -hmm. what's rightfully his. Yes, sir. We need to honor God yeah. by reverencing his name. Yeah. Because Jesus says when you pray, pray our Father. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Who art in heaven. Yeah. Hallowed or holy. Be thy name. Yeah, yeah. We need to honor God by praising him. Yeah. Lifting him up and letting him know that we're much obliged yeah. for all that he has done for us. Yeah. We need to honor him by giving him credit uh, where he deserves. All right. Stop telling folks, look at what I did. All right. All right. Or look at what John Bob or Mary Sue did for me. Yeah. It was God that yeah. did it for you. Yeah. I think often now, and, and, and I, I, I may not would have uh, uh, said it then, but I realized that it was God that blessed me yeah. during my military career. Yeah. For I was in a position most of the time yeah. where I was not supposed to be. Yeah. Uh, uh, I had jobs that that other folk that look like me couldn't get. Being in a rating that why nobody looked like me. Folks worked for me, didn't look like me. Being on an admiral staff where didn't nobody look like me. Being assigned jobs where nobody did what I did or looked like me. I can recall being on board ship, and I was the flight deck coordinator. I had to talk over a microphone to the those that were on the ship and those back in my squadron. And I heard somebody say one day, I don't know about VF1, that, that fellow they got up there, he can't hardly talk, uh, but he gets the job. Done. They said it because I didn't look like them. And I couldn't give nobody else the glory but God. Because he kept me and he sustained me and he protected me. And I thank God that he did. So I have no other option but to give him the glory. Uh, give him the credit because of what he did. Uh, we honor God uh, when we proclaim his glory to unbelievers, uh, when we tell the lost, uh, 
about Jesus uh, every now and then. Oh, uh, if they don't do it daily, uh, you need to remind folks uh, yeah. that there is a God yeah. in heaven, yeah. uh, yeah. that he is yeah. your father, yeah. that you have an elder brother oh, well. that gave his life uh, that they might be saved. Uh, every now and then, uh, you ought to make it personal uh, and say, my God saved me. Uh, yes, and if you would give your life to him uh, through his son Jesus, uh, he will save you uh, and not be ashamed and not be afraid uh, to tell them, uh, to remind them that there is a hell uh, waiting for them. Uh, and when they try to tell you uh, that no, I'm not going to hell, uh, God's too good to, to send me to hell. Uh, you said, that's right. Uh, he's a good God. Uh, he won't send you to hell, uh, but he'll open the door uh, and let you walk in uh, all by yourself. Uh, that now is the time uh, to honor God, uh, to respect his name uh, and realize that, that he is uh, everything uh, that you need. Uh, honor God when we exalt his name uh, in Jesus. Uh, we honor God uh, when we uh, call upon him uh, and genuinely, uh, yeah, believe in him uh, for our salvation. We honor his name. Uh, we don't use his name in vain, uh, but we call on him uh, because he is uh, our help. Uh, I heard uh, the psalmist says uh, he's our hope uh, and he's been our help uh, in ages past. Uh, and now I can hope uh, in God. Uh, Trust in him, uh, call upon his name, uh, because he is uh, everything uh, that I need. Uh, I need Moses uh, to come and help me now, uh, to help some folks understand uh, that what God said to him uh, on the backside of the desert, uh, to understand uh, when he told Moses, uh, I am uh, that I am uh, everything uh, that Pharaoh will throw against you. Uh, believe me, I am uh, able uh, to hold you up uh, and to keep you uh, from the hurt and harm uh, that Pharaoh uh, might rise up against you. I am, uh, yeah, as you learn uh, doing, you're leading your people. Uh, I believe Moses uh, kept it in the back of his mind uh, that every time uh, things got hard, uh, he would remember uh, that I am uh, that I am. Uh, sent me uh, and I need you uh, to understand uh, that he still is uh, I am uh, that I am. Whatever you need, uh, he is. Uh, yes, he is. Uh, if you're sick, uh, he's a doctor, uh, yeah, uh, that's able to perform uh, the most integral uh, amount of surgery uh, that he can uh, fix the mind. Uh, yes, he can. Uh, he can fix the heart. Uh, yes, he can. Uh, and then he can fix the soul. Uh, yes, he can. Uh, I am uh, that I am. Uh, I can be your friend uh, when nobody else uh, wants to help you. Uh, bear your burden. Uh, they think ugly uh, things about you. Uh, say you deserve uh, what's happening to you. But I am uh, that I am uh, will come alongside uh, and remind you uh, that he's the one uh, yeah, that allowed you to get in uh, this predicament. Uh, and if you call upon him, uh, he will uh, deliver you. Uh, I'm trying to finish, uh, but Jacob keeps talking uh, in my ear. Uh, he said uh, I was uh, a supplanter. Uh, yeah, I was a trickster, yeah. I tricked my daddy uh, out of blessing me. I uh, tricked my brother uh, out of his birthright. Uh, I had uh, a bad reputation. Uh, nobody uh, wanted to be with me. Uh, but one day uh, I met Jesus. Uh, yeah, I saw the angel uh, coming up and down uh, on the ladder. Uh, and God blessed me. Uh, yes, he did change my name uh, from Jacob to Israel uh, and made me uh, a brand new person. I am uh, 
that I am. Whatever you need, just look to me and I will bless you. I gotta tell you, if you just use God's name right, he will bless you. I'm on my way to my seat now, but I gotta leave you with this. Remember, I told you, if you're not part uh, of the McDonald franchise, uh, you can't have uh, the golden arches uh, out in the front. Uh, well, uh, if you're part uh, of the family of God, uh, I heard Jesus uh, when he gave you uh, power of attorney uh, to use his name. Uh, he said, uh, whatever you ask the Father in my name, uh, he will uh, give it to you. Don't worry about the copyright infringement. Uh, we've been in power to use his name. Uh, Jesus uh, is all I need. Jesus uh, is my help. Jesus uh, he is my friend. When I call on him, uh, help will surely come. I'm not worried about the using his name in vain because I know he will yeah. come to the rescue. He'll take care of me. I'm not going to run around using God's name in vain. Why should I? Because I know he is everything that I need. Yes, sir. Hebrew writer said, if you're going to come to him, if you're going to use his name, if you're going to call on him, you have to believe that he is a rewarder of them that diligently Seek him. Wow. He, is. he is. And I am a believer yes, sir. in him. Yes. Don't profane his right. name. Don't use his name in vain. Don't misuse it. Amen. Yes. I, 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 our parents, our parents didn't want us to be always running around mama, 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 dad, dad, dad. They that was misusing their name. <laughs> God don't want us doing that. Amen. If you need him, all you got to do is call him on it one time. All right. And sometimes songs, Brother Moore, get things messed up. It sounds good, but it messes things up. Yeah, they sing that song about old Mary, don't you weep. And, and they say, call Lazarus three times. No, he didn't. He only had to call him one time. You only got to call on the name of the Lord one time. Call on him and help will surely come. If you're part of the family, if, if you've been authorized to use his name, call on him. And help will surely come. His name's copyright. Everybody can use it. But we that are the household of faith yes, yes. can thank God All right. for allowing us to use his name. Yes, yes. It doesn't matter whether you say God the Father, God the Son, yes, yes. or God the Holy. doesn't matter whether you call him Elohim or Jehovah, mm. Yahweh, mm. it doesn't matter. Mm. When you call on him, yeah. help with your God. Yeah. Just don't profane his name. Yeah. We all know about that. We all have heard, a lot of us have done, taking his name in vain. Yeah. But thou shalt not, thou shalt not take the Lord's name in vain because he will not hold you guiltless. He will. When you, when you study that, you find that over in the book of Leviticus, Moses don't say it, and God doesn't say it right here, or what he'll do to you. But over in Leviticus, God says, I'm going to require your life. Mm -hmm. That ought to shed some new light on something right there. Amen. 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 That if you use God's name in vain, if you misuse it, if you violate the copyright infringement that God has for you, 
then there is a possibility that he would take your life. And you, God's name, not And he shall bless you. Why the song is sung? Maybe that one here that don't know the Lord. Maybe that one that wants to recommit their life. Maybe that one out in Facebook or YouTube that wants to come to Christ. It's no big secret. No mystical, magical act that has to be performed. It's simply an act of obedience giving your life to Christ. Saying, Lord, I believe you sent your son and your son gave his life that I might have life. And now I have access. When I accept Christ as my Savior, access to the trademark that you have on your name to call on me when I am in need. And not just when I'm in need, but when you bless me and for me to tell you that I'm much obliged. Sometimes I think we ought to just stop begging and just thank you for all that he has done. Done so much. I just can't tell it all. Better to me than I've been to myself. Yeah, yeah. You and you and you and you, all of you did stuff to hurt and harm yourself. Amen. God didn't do what you did. Amen. Amen. But thanks to him that he allowed us to be overcomers. Yeah. Amen. To, to help us up out of the ditch that we dug for ourselves. Amen. To help us get up off the rooftop out of that tree that we climbed up in and focus on the limb off of it. He helped us down. We were unscathed. And all we had to say was thank you for delivering me again. He's that kind of God. And all you have to do is just trust him. Believe in him. And give your life to him. And he will. Take care of you. Why the song is sung?